check out that gas price, guys. Dollar seventy-five. Thank you, Van. How awesome is that? Can you tell on my camera that it's a clearer picture, like it's a crisper picture? Oh, I missed my camera. I'm so excited to have it back. Shh. Shh. Don't tell Travis. But there is a tropical fish place over there. He wants a fish so bad, and I don't want him. I don't, I don't want the fish. We have enough animals as it is, and we don't need fish. So we're just getting gas. Then we have an errand to run. And then we're going, he's going to the card shop and right next door is like the biggest family dollar that I've ever, not family dollar, why do I always say family dollar? The biggest dollar tree I've like ever seen. So he's going to, oh, he's sending me and Jackson in there because he gave me some spending money this week. Not that he gave me spending money, but we had some spending money and I was able to go and shopping a little bit. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna shop for my secret sister. So Look at that studly stud. I'm so excited to have my camera back. Big dog! Big dog, Miss O! I need some buoy. I need some buoy. Well, we have an eager beaver that won't sit in the, what's it called? Cart. Hold on. Sorry, babe. That won't sit in the cart anymore. So we had to go buy him a stroller, which I'm not too enthused about because that was $60 that we shouldn't have had to spend. But it is what it is. We uh, unfortunately had to leave our stroller in Maine, so we didn't really get to bring it out. We just didn't have room in the moving vehicle. So, we bought a new one. It's whatever, it'll be a good investment. I can take him on longer walks and stuff and it'll be good for the zoo. And where we're gonna be living in Parker's right down the street from downtown. So, it's too far for him to walk, but it'll be great for me, huh, babe? Okay, excuse me. Yep. It will be, yeah, it's gonna be. And I got a crock pot. And I got some Burt's Bees shampoo and conditioner for me. Is this all in one piece? We'll see. Hope so. We tested it out in the store. They had one all prepared, so Jackson was like he didn't want to get out of it, which was good. Looks like it is. That'd be pretty rocking, huh? Can you get it? Yeah, I just gonna. There we go. Dun 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 dun. Oops. It's going down. Box. He's yelling timber. I'm just gonna see it. I'm gonna see what we have. Probably gonna put the box. I'm really excited that we have a good amount of grocery money. Yes, groceries. We need to go grocery shopping now. Because we were just going to go home and Travis was going to be like, I'll stay home with them, you go out. But I was like, let's just go get that stroller. We've seen it a couple times. Um, and he, so we're like, well, we'll test it out, see if he likes it. And if he likes it, we'll pay for it. Um, we'll buy it or whatever. I don't get why that triple big crock pot had such small... My dad's has regular sized crock pots. He jumps from conversation to conversation. I just, I was thinking of that in my head, I'm sorry. I was just, it didn't make sense to me. What's the point of having three days at a quarter piece? But, um, yeah, I got a crock pot. Cause as you guys know, a while ago we bought one at Goodwill. Well, it crapped the bed. It was just, it was no good. And we spent the same amount for this one as we did at the one at Goodwill, so. Um, but I actually got a crock pot, which I'm excited about. And, um, we got Jackson stroller, so now we can go grocery shopping. Travis will just have to push the cart or Jackson or something while I, yeah, I don't care. I'll push um, while we push the stroller, but 
I'm excited that I got a few things for myself, a crock pot and some new shampoo that I'm really excited about. And we're gonna go drop some stuff off at the apartment because when we had to move the Bronco over to our new house in um, Parker, because the landlord said that we could park it there even though we're not there yet, um, because um, on the lease at this apartment we're at, we can't have an unregistered vehicle, and we just bought that off of somebody else, so it, we haven't had time to register and I'm, it. Yeah, I'm registering it. And so when income tax comes, we're going to register it for Travis. And um, so they were going to tow it here, so we had to move it. And like, our, like our landlord was super, super sweet, and he was like, "Yeah, move it on over." He's like, "I don't care, it's your place." So that was really cool, wasn't it? Um, and uh, so, well, when we moved it, we had to put my dad's tools in the back because he has a lot of money worth of tools because of what he does. He's a um, turbine mechanic, um, an operator, so he fixes turbines at Power Cities, and tools for that are very expensive. So um, we put them in our car where we knew it was locked, and we could keep an eye on them compared to just locking them in the the. Um, Bronco, which is 25 minutes away from us, so so and our vibe doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of room. But my dad's had to st store his tools in here before, so we knew they fit because he actually bought this vehicle off his friend that he works with for me. It was a gift to me. Um, so they're in here, so we have to kind of take a couple trips back to the apartment to drop gonna, stuff after off. We, when we get, yeah, when we get done Costco, we'll have to come back before we go to Trader Joe's, but that's okay. I'm going to check the cardboard. And... Okay, I'm going to bring some stuff in. So we just went to Costco, and that place was a madhouse. A madhouse. It always is. Um, we try to avoid, like, Travis gets paid on a Friday, and if we didn't have to shop on Friday, because, like, we go shopping every two weeks, because he gets paid every two weeks, and so we're usually out of groceries at that time, aren't we? Like, um, so it just stinks that we have to go on a weekend, because that's when everybody else has to go, so, bleh. Now we're going to Trader Joe's. Oh my gosh, this is like our last trip to this Trader Joe's. And there's the closest one to us where we live is like 13, 14 miles. So there's a natural grocer out there though, and I'm hoping we like that just as much. Of course. We're behind a bus. But anyways, I'm hoping we get some footage in Trader Joe's. If not, we will see you after. I wasn't able to get any footage because Trader Joe's is we kind of just get in and get out. What'd you say? Just kind of go can get kind of hectic. It's it a gets, small store. it's a, like, when I say it's the bigger store of Colorado, I'm serious, but it's still a small store. They're not very big, and you put 50 or so people in there, you're really cramped. Yeah. So, we are heading out. Um, my mom's plane lands tonight at 9. It's 5 now. Um, but I'm really bummed because I was going to do a grocery haul for my mommy channel and Travis was like, by the way, you can't do a grocery haul. And I was like, why? And he was like, because your father has already put away a majority of the groceries. So there goes that. So we are at the cell phone lot. It's free parking and they have like um, a store and a Dunkin' Donitas. My dad's getting me a coffee. Um, to... Excuse me, wait for my mom. Um, she's supposed to fly in at 9, and I'm not quite sure what time it is yet. He took the phone, and I don't have a phone. Um, talk about old fashioned. Even my friend Kara on the farm has a phone. Chantel don't have a phone. But, um, so that's what we're doing. This place is called The Final Approach. This sounds like somewhere where some creepy movie's gonna happen. Well guys, we are going to bed. We'll say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say goodnight, everybody. We love you. <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Good job, X. That's a hard one, X. Mm.